Hey guys, how's it going? I just wanted to bring you a long overdue video on my uh, review of the Optimus 9, the Griffin Armament Optimus 9. I've had this suppressor for probably at least a year and a half, maybe two years now, and I just wanted to give you some of my, uh, you know, impressions on the suppressor. You know, this is my first suppressor I ever was introduced to, my first rifle suppressor I've even saw. I've seen 22 suppressors before, but this was my first real uh, suppressor was the one I owned, which is crazy. So I basically just going to be honest with you here from the upfront is I don't have anything to compare this to. So it sounds great to me, but you know, your mileage may vary if you're a suppressor connoisseur. Um, here's the second caveat, which is, uh, this is my first suppressor. So if I'm being a noob at this or something, or there's something obvious, I don't know about maintenance or one of my gripes, then cool, that's not a problem for you. And if you want, throw some suggestions in the comments for how I can better care for my suppressor or how I can make some things less annoying, especially with this one. Um, so the big thing with the Optimus 9 is it is a uh, multi-caliber suppressor, or at least it was marketed originally. So there's lots of different configurations you can use this in in order to uh, use it on a ton of different firearms which is really cool and it's why I got this because I was like, oh, I don't want to go through the tax stamp process multiple times. I just want to get one can and I can use it on a ton of different firearms, which you can, but there's kind of a caveat. Um, there's a ton of other great videos on how the different configurations um, and stuff you can sh uh, use this with, so I don't want to go over that too much. Um, but uh, I'll just reiterate just really quickly. So the two main uh, firearms I've used this on was my 9mm mil, nine Chris Vector um, pistol and then my 300 Blackout um, AR-15 with a 9-inch barrel. And both of those, they sound great with it. Um, no complaints there. Shooting subsonic is so pleasant. Um, but anyway, the different types of configurations, you have this basic... Uh, you know, short, shortest uh, style, and in which case you would put um, this uh, little attachment, and then through this you put the uh, booster piston assembly. That's if you want to shoot it on a uh, handgun with a uh, you know tilting barrel. Um, I don't really I've used that once because I don't have a threaded pistol with a tilting barrel, so I've never really used that. What I have used is I bought this adapter for uh, this um, this adapter that goes in here, and sorry, it's been so long, I'm trying to remember all these terms. It's one half by 28, and it's a fixed barrel adapter, so it's made for not a tilting barrel like you would find on my Chris Vector, um, and it adapts it to one half by 28, and um, that is the shortest configuration. And then if you wanna step up from there, if you wanna shoot anything above nine millimeter or 300 blackout subsonic, like 300 blackout supersonic, if you wanna shoot 556, what you need to do is you need to take this base can and then put in this extra bass, uh, blast baffle and you put that in there and then you add this little extension that it comes with. You, it comes with the full size extension, but then there's additional one that I bought, which is the mid size extension, which shortens it a little bit. Um, and with the mid size extension, you can still shoot 556, um, 300 blackout supersonic, those types of intermediate calibers. However, if you want to go anything like, you know, 308 full size rifle calibers, you need to have this with the full size one that it comes with. Um, I've mostly used the mid-size one because I'm only shooting 5.56 or 300 blackout. So I don't really want the extra length um, of the full-size one, even though you would get more sound suppression, I guess, technically. So um, that's something to think about. So here's where the Optimus 9 kind of um, pees me off a little bit. It is really hard to change uh, caliber configurations. So the main issue here is, and again, this is my first suppressor, so I don't really know this, but it gets really dirty really, really quickly, especially if you shoot, you know, 22 rim fire through it, which is what I've done a little bit because, you know, it's fun to shoot 22 as well through this, but I've shot it and it just absolutely cakes the inside. So whenever you use the pistol configuration, um, or not the pistol, but the, um, fixed uh, fixed thread adapter right here. Um, you screw this in, but all this uh, gets really dirty and it just cakes the inside of this uh, 
this uh, the can. Um, so what that makes it hard is with, when you want to go shooting from, let's say, my 9mm Chris Vector, um, which uses this adapter, to shooting my 300 Blackout, which then I have to insert this inside of. But guess where all that carbon is? It's added an extra layer all along the inside of here so that literally I can only get it in that far with pressure. So, like, trust me, all what I have to do is I have to take... Um, like literally just beat it on concrete in order to get it shoved all the way up there. Um, and believe me, I've tried cleaning it out. I've tried, you know, bristle brushes using a uh, metal scraper, you know. Um, and it's just, it's hard to get it clean enough where this will slide all the way down in there comfortably uh, after it gets really dirty. Um, so that's the main issue for me. It is just too inconvenient to switch um, switch uh, calibers from you know small to intermediate caliber or large caliber it's mainly just this one uh, blast baffle that is so inconvenient and you usually have to pound it out or pound it in and it's just kind of inconvenient so if you guys have any tips on how I can you know improve that um, going forward now that I have more money and time um, I'll probably I think the way to go is I'm just gonna buy one, you know, pistol caliber can for use on pistols and one, you know, rifle caliber can for rifles. Um, I think that's really the best way because here's the other thing. The other part that sold me on this can was that it's user serviceable. So you take this and my focus is really bad here. So if you'll apol let me apologize. We'll see if I can fix this. There we go. Okay. So this should be on focus better. But anyway, you can take the tip off of this and then Theoretically, all these baffles in here, not this one, but all the rest of them in here will slide out and you can clean them. I take the, You can take this off and you can take the other one off, but these things are so you know dirty, you cannot slide them out. And I guess you can argue that I let it get too dirty before cleaning it. But honestly, from the some of the reviews I've seen on YouTube, a lot of people say you don't even need to clean your can because, like, I don't know, the carbon doesn't really, you know, degrade the material because all it is is just trapping it and I think I saw someone's video saying it honestly makes it quieter if you don't clean it um, because the carbon like deafens or like helps absorb the you know sound waves impact vibrations whatever you call, want to call it um, so yeah it's almost impossible and I in fact I tried to clean it today I tried to soak it in like solvents and like bash these uh, little baffles out of here out the front um, but they would not come out. Obviously, after taking off the two, uh, you take off this one, and then there's another one on the inside that you take off, unscrew, and then you're supposed to be able to slide them out. But I could not do that. And in fact, now I can't even get this thing out of here. So I'm going to have to take the little push rod it comes with, it goes through the end of here, and then you can hit this on like concrete or something, and it'll pop out eventually. So you just have to be really rough with it, which is not conducive if, for my example, you want to go to the range, and you want to be, you know, with friends because you like shooting with people. And you're like, oh, here, check this out. This is my Chris Vector suppressed. It's awesome to shoot. And then obviously they shoot it and it's awesome. <laughs> um, however, it's a lot harder when you say, oh, now try my 300 Blackout, you know, pistol. And you have to spend like six or seven minutes trying to change, configure the system and take the little rod out and like beat on the concrete or beat or in that case, you would be beating this thing in because it would be dirty right here. So I'd have to beat this thing in and then try and get it uh, set up in that configuration. Um, and it's just really kind of inconvenient in that way. So that's my two cents, uh, my opinion on the. Optimus 9, Griffin Armament Optimus 9. If you guys have any suggestions or advice, um, I think from what I'm going to do in the future is probably just buy, um, you know, and honestly, this is a great can. I mean, it does a great job. It's just, I don't think the um, modularity part of the, um, you know, marketing is very, uh, very useful. So I think it's kind of a gimmick. Um, but you know, I'll continue probably using this as my rifle can and then I'll probably just buy another pistol can in the future. So anyway, um, let me know if there's anything, uh, any questions you guys have. Um, I'm going to be in Japan very soon. So I just wanted to knock out this video and I'll probably honestly be in Japan by the time I, I post this. So, um, stay tuned for more videos. Thank you.